Fervent warlocks are occasionally offered a taste of the dark hunger. The distant being known by the same name has been said to share with certain disciples the ability to open gateways to the endless void where it resides. From afar, the entity watches, waiting for zealous followers to invite the hunger of Hadar to devour anew. I love Hunger of Hadar because it's one of those spells that feels quintessentially warlock. It may not be the strongest spell, but between the split damage, the area control, and the great theme, it's one of my favorites. Here's how it works. Using your action, you can choose a point within 150 feet to open a gateway to the Dark Between Stars. The gateway has a radius of 20 feet and can last for up to a minute if you maintain concentration. That's 10 combat rounds. Bitter cold spills from the gateway, otherworldly tentacles emerge, and all light in the area, magical or otherwise, is consumed in an inky blackness. Creatures fully within the area are blinded while inside, causing them to automatically fail sight-based ability checks, and attacks against them are made with advantage, while their own attacks are made with disadvantage. Creatures starting their turn within the area are dealt 2d6 cold damage, and anyone ending their turn within the area must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or be dealt 2d6 acid damage from the otherworldly tentacles making contact. On top of everything else, as the fabric of space becomes warped by the void, the area becomes difficult terrain, meaning movement through it costs twice as much. Some other things to note. I referenced it earlier, but Hunger of Hadar is a concentration spell meaning that you'd have to cancel it to cast another concentration spell, and that taking damage will force you to make a concentration check to maintain it. All of the spell's effects and potential damage can affect enemies and allies, so careful placement is really important. It might go without saying, but it's not a subtle spell. In addition to the obvious and aberrant visuals, the spell's description also states that the cacophony of whispers and slurping noises produced by the gateway can be heard up to 30 feet away. So Hunger of Hadar can be summed up as a ranged spell that excels at controlling a large area. Both the damage that it deals and the conditions that it applies can be major tools for influencing not only where enemies can go on their turns, but what they can do. The party's meeting with the local ruler turns out to be a trap, and the way you came is now blocked by guards that are already drawing their weapons. After a great initiative roll, you're up first, and you cast Hunger of Hadar in the space between the guards and your party. With no other way to reach you, some of the guards attempt to wade through the nightmare that you've just dropped in front of them, but the area's difficult terrain prevents them from making it through, even after burning their actions to dash. Those poor souls are stranded, forced to end this turn in the spell, risking acid damage, and start their next turn in the spell, taking cold damage, all while being blinded. The guards at the back of the room are keeping their distance, unable to tell what's happening within or beyond the inky black void filling the corridor. The rest of your party members move just outside the spell, and take the ready action, preparing to strike with their reactions at anything that comes through. So that's Hunger of Hadar. It's a spell that I think is really fun, not just because of the combat uses, but because of its really dramatic presentation. It'll absolutely leave an impression on enemies, and it'll probably leave the other characters in your party with a few questions when they see it for the first time. But what do you think about the spell? I know that for Warlocks especially, there's always the question of, is it worth the spell slot? And I think that I like the spell enough to say yes, especially between levels 5 to 10, but maybe you feel differently. I'd love to know what your favorite Warlock spells are, and what kinds of great stories and moments have come from using them. Thank you as always for watching, and until next time, take care.